What is up everybody? My name is James. This is my Corolla. Today we are going to be putting the timing belt on and the tensioner and the cams. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the the, bleh, bleh, the car and let's get started. Alright, I just have the cam sitting in there right now just to like kind of get an idea on how I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cam gears back on because they have a fixed location and they have indicators on them where they need to line up. So I'm going to put the cam gears back on, set the engine to top dead center, put the tensioner on, and go from there. What we'll do next is we're going to torque down, yeah, I'll show you guys, the cam, the caps for the cam, cams, two of them, dual overhead, um, torque those down and I will also post the specs right now. Wow, look at those specs, James, you're such a good guy. Wow, James is our hero, yay. And let's torque them down. So they are all torqued down now. Did it one, two, three, four, five. Did both sides, three different stages, I guess. And now for the fun part, Jesse. 700 horsepower? No, but make sure to subscribe to Spooled Up TV because Jesse's gonna make that hunk of junk fly. All right, so now for the, 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 what do I wanna say? Like the, the bulk of the video. The, the 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 timing belt. So real quick, I'll show you guys all the marks that you should be looking for before you put your timing belt on. Luckily, at least my engine, it still has all the marks. They're very visible, very easy to see. So it should come up pretty clear on the camera. But I'll show you guys all the timing marks that you want to line up and how to do so. All right, so the cam gears, the cam gears, they have cam to gears it has a little bevel right there so we're gonna line it up with that line right there same with the other side it has a little bevel on the cam gear right there gonna line it up with that line so the other thing to mention there's slots inside the cam gear and there's a notch where that fits in this slot you want on the passenger side or i should say the right side of the car notch on the top with the, the little post on the top and on the left side you want it on the bottom i will also insert a diagram right now showing you those two spots so for the crank as you can see on that pulley down there with the teeth, there's a notch in it. It should line up with that pimple or whatever you want to call it, that little bump, those should line up. And also that should be when cylinder one's on top dead center. The, the way I know to check is like putting a, um, a long screwdriver or something in there just so that you can see that Cylinder one is at top dead center. So the next step is to throw the belt on. Don't, don't throw the belt on, but like put the belt on and see if it fits and lines up. The side without the tensioner, so from this pulley down to the very bottom crank pulley, you want that to be tight because on this side, you make up for the slack with the tensioner. So make sure that it's tight from this side to here. So like I said before, 
little divot here, line it up with that. Divot here, there's a, a line on the back of this that it lines up with. The notch and the bump on the crank, right down there. Line those up and make sure this side has tension when you first install it because this side, the tension is taken out with the tensioner. That's pretty much the basics for installing the timing belt on a 4AGE. Um, the timing marks are very easy to find and yeah, I thought it was gonna be a little bit daunting. I don't like engines. I don't like taking them apart. I don't like going inside of them. I don't like engines because I feel like they're gonna blow up after I put it together and it's gonna cost a lot of money, which very well could happen, but I'm doing everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen, as you should too. Take your time with everything. Make sure all your marks line up. Do a little bit of research before putting everything back together and that's it. So if you are watching this video and you're a Corolla expert, please let me know how I did so I don't put this all back together and start it and things are hitting and not happy. And also, if this does help you, please leave a comment below letting me know. And I guess that wraps it up. So I do appreciate everybody for watching this video. If you did like the video, go ahead and like the video. It does help out a lot. Please make sure to subscribe and stay updated on the build because we are always, we're always on the move. But here's a little sneak peek. The next thing we're gonna be doing is the intake side. A little sneak peek. Thank you for stopping by watching the video. Keep doing car stuff and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>